Hi guys, so as you can see, it's actually my first video. I'm gonna put like a trigger warning, kind of intro, because I actually cannot, I can't do this. Um, I also look really minging. I kind of wish I put a bit more effort into it. Now that I look at it, I look a bit disgusting. Um, but I thought we would do first video today because I have a filthy day. Um, I originally planned to, when making this first video to do like a vlog to make it more interesting with the Coonies, but I was gonna vlog like Adam's birthday weekend, but I ended up not videoing enough, so it would have been a really short, shitty video. Um, and I thought it would be just too much for my first video, but I just thought it'd be more interesting than just me sitting down talking about myself. I just thought it was a wee bit cringy. Um, but I know also I was gonna answer these questions anyways. So I've got them all here. Thank you so much, by the way, for everyone, for everyone that um, asked me questions. I literally have so many, I won't even be able to answer them all. Um, so thanks, that's really nice. Okay, so we're starting off with a really basic question, um, just to get us in. But first, quick, I've had to write them, by the way, yet on my notepad because, how cute is this wee notepad though? Because I had another phone, but it doesn't work. It's like all smashed, it's fucked. So, so I'm just having to write some of them down. I probably won't even get through all these ones that I've wrote down. So, because I feel like that will kind of drag on a wee bit. First question, what's your favourite animal? My favourite animal is a cat. Um, I have a cat. He's downstairs. I think he's actually outside. Um, Milo. Cats. He hasn't even had like a photo of him. But he's really cute. Um, definitely my favourite animal. I don't really have any other favourite animals that I can think of. I quite like every animal to be honest. Um, like, I like sheep. I always, I always take photos of sheep when I see them. Also, I feel I really want to show you this set up. <laughs> I'm going to try and show you that. <laughs> Look at this set up. I've had to put these on that candle. Because I don't have like a tripod, obviously. Um, so that's what we're going to have to deal with until I decide to invest in a tripod. I did think when should I get a camera. I was like, maybe a bit too soon um, to splurge and invest in a nice camera. Um, so wait and see. We'll wait and see for that until I will be using an iPhone 11 camera. Okay, stop rambling. Next question is, what inspired you to make a channel? So, actually, funnily enough, used to have a YouTube channel when I was in second year. So I was like, what, 14 or something? Did not tell anyone, like, only, like, my closest pals knew. I had, like, maybe 20 subscribers or something. Like, I li literally nobody knew. Um, and I posted, honestly, I posted quite a few videos on it. Like, I had, like, what's in my bag? A makeup tutorial and autumn makeup look like I was really with it with Zoella. Like I actually was trying to be the new Zoella. So I always really enjoyed YouTube and like talking. So when that account was all private, I private full videos. I would maybe I would love to re re watch those videos, but I can't get in to that account. The email address I used, I have no idea um what it is. So. Recently, I started making TikToks. Follow my TikTok if you don't. Um, I made I started making TikToks and I was making like me makeup videos, like me talking, like or like doing me fashion videos. And a lot of comments were saying like you need to start a YouTube channel, and that just kind of gave me like a buzz to start it again. Um, because I used to always make jokes and say that I would. Um, so yeah, I said in twenty twenty two I'd do it, and now here I am. What was on your bucket list? I don't actually think I've ever had. I don't really have a bucket list, like. I don't know. I, what is a bucket list? Like, I actually know thinking, like, what is a bucket list? Like, goals. Oh, I mean, you come back to that question. I don't know. What is your ideal job for the future? So, actually, do you know what? I'll jump to another question before that one because there's one that leads to that question. What do you study slash studying in college? I'm going to try and score these out if I've done them because I don't get confused because I'm, like, jumping to each one. I'm jumping to each one. I currently am in college studying fashion design um, and again I'm gonna because a lot of the questions were really similar another person said like what, what's your college course about so fashion design and um, the course is basically just what literally what it is fashion design you just basically kind of curate pattern drafts and then create your own design um, with like different fabrics and um, and then there's also obviously the written side to it or the drawing side where you like obviously design your own clothes and stuff like that. It is a really interesting course and it's really good. 
I do think I might switch the course at the end of this one. So rather than getting my HNC, I'll get an HND. Is that right? Actually, I could be mixing that up. HND. No. Yeah, rather than getting my HND, I'll get an HNC. Um, because I've kind of switched what I want to do. Originally, I wanted to go into become a designer and do design and make clothes and all that. But I've kind of switched. So back to what's your ideal job for the future ideal job would definitely be um ideal job is probably stylist um probably to work for become work for a company as a stylist um so that would be really ideal to be honest um it's quite broad to be honest fashion i feel like it does seem really small and there's only like so much you can do but there's a lot we will do something around that and um, just work for a really juicy company would be ideal and style style their outfits for their shoots would would be the dream where would you live if you could live anywhere i mean i know this seems like oh anywhere but i actually would probably move to manchester and um, i feel like that is probably well actually if it's saying like if i could live anywhere probably Lon london actually um i don't know probably london if I could live anywhere without the concept of like money and all that because um London is expensive um but it's really good for fashion um and to get kind of sources of people in that industry um and to work for. So definitely London but ideally Manchester would be really, really good. Next question is what is your favourite clothing? I got quite a lot of these ones, they're just all really similar. But what is your favourite clothing brands are like your top favorite brands to shop on um definitely asos asos would be a big one because it's got so many brands and it, it's literally so good because it's got so many a lot of people do say though that you can't really find a lot of things on there I, i'm okay I, I i think it's quite quite good i feel like zara is probably somewhere that i would never find anything unless I found someone wear that and it was from Zara. I saw it first of course, I literally tag them all the time, love them um, and their stuff's like really affordable. So Urban Outfitters which I've actually stole Adam Shumper which is from there. Um, yeah definitely Urban Outfitters, I know it is really, exp it is really expensive but I feel like the, the quality is worth it. So they'd probably be like my top three and then like other brands I really think that they've popped off recently is Bershka. Bershka's really popped off. Um, pretty little thing. See if you just type up corsets on PLT. Honestly, so many nice corsets. Like, they're such good quality and they're actually really reasonable price. Like, most of them are, like, under £30. Um, and then also Boohoo. Boohoo's really done, been doing good recently. Um, there's just some other wee brands I can think of. When did you leave school? I left school uh, two years ago. No, two years ago. Last year or this year? No. But I feel like it was. It was, wasn't it? I was in school last year, wasn't it? I can't remember. It's really annoying me. I'm so sure it was last year. No way, it was 2020. I can't remember. That's so annoying. I'm going to say 2021 is when I left school. I left in sixth year. Got a lot of questions asking styling and spo. Um, do you know what I'll say? I'm not really a Pinterest person. I know a lot of people say, like, they'll go on Pinterest to find stuff, right? The only time I'll go on Pinterest... I don't know, like, I, I, I never really go on it. Sometimes I'll go on it for, like, wee cute photos, but... I never really go on it that much, ever. But Styling Inspo's, um, is probably any influencer slash person that just has a nice pop of colour could be influenced by that that's all i can say like it could be anyone with a nice fat pop of color what is your favorite influencer slash youtubers um so i'll just do youtube because i feel like most youtubers are influencers anyways youtube love Emma Shepel, olivia olivia uh, oh my god neil i don't know why i forgot her name olivia neil emma chamberlain flossy um and then love Millie T, she's just like, love her. Um, Anna, 
Anna King Kingston, is that her name? I actually can't remember, that's really bad. Um, Anna Kingston, I like my top ones that I could think of. Where do you see yourself in five years? I feel like I'm going to also add the plans for the future because, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to add them together because I feel like they are kind of together. So 23, 24, plans for the future, I'll just mumble them together. Probably would be to be living in either at Glasgow, West End specifically, or to be living in Manchester. They would probably be my ideal, my ideal life, um, or where I would envision. Either one of them would be really ideal. Um, that would be really embarrassing if I'm still living. Not that it's embarrassing to live in your house at 24, but like that would be really embarrassing if I've said that and I'm still living here. How to do an ad and meet? Love you. Oh, thanks. Um, so I actually got quite. I got a couple of questions asking that. So I thought I just. I was like, oh, maybe I'll wait because Adam probably will definitely be in one of my videos. So I'll be like, we'll do it together. But I'll just answer it now since it's already been answered. Not forget. It was actually me that text Adam um, on Instagram, and then. We, we actually spoke on Instagram for a good solid month. <laughs> Not even joking. DMs. DMs for a month. <laughs> um, so yeah, back in 2020, July, June, July, I can't actually remember. And then we started going out in September the 19th. Cute. <laughs> Point out, Adam's my boyfriend, in case you just didn't understand what I was talking about, because... Someone said Adam and not boyfriend, so I just got to make that a little bit clear. <laughs> Favourite place to go eat and drink, alcohol-wise, when you're out? Hmm. Oh my god, do you know what's so good? Mosquito. Mosquito is literally so, so nice. Um, and usually I prefer like a shy bar, but mosquito, oh, I love mosquito. Mosquito's good. I don't know when it opened, I'm sure it's recent, unless I'm talking chat and it's been open for ages, but... Yeah, Mesquite was really, really good if you've not been there. It's really nice. And um, that's a good place for drinks. Um, and to get photos are also really cool there. Like, there's a lot of good be good places. Um, Absurd Bread is so good for food. Do this vegan burger. Oh my God, it's sensational. I don't know, I need to go there actually. I might go there this week. It's so good. And the drinks are really nice. Um, they do like a wee bar too. So definitely Absurd Bread would be up there. Hard Rock Cafe is really nice. Again, their vegan burger is just so good. Oh, it's so nice. Um, like they literally, like Adam will get it too. Like it literally tastes exactly like meat. Um, also, Italian wise, literally love DiMaggio's. DiMaggio's is like a top. Well, I'm gonna do this the last question. There has been so many other questions. So thank you so much. Honestly, I'm really chuffed. I'm actually so happy how many questions I got. Um, but the last question I'm gonna do, just so I'm not rambling too long is how did you develop your style like I got questions a lot of questions like oh my god sorry I got a lot of questions saying like how did you develop your style like what made you get into fashion like all these kind of questions and I thought I'd smoosh them together again um I don't really know how to answer that like I I feel like it was probably like I'm gonna like if I was to scroll on my Instagram when I realized my Instagram actually was pop popped off on outfit wise would probably be when I was in a forest and me and Adam went a walk and I was wearing these like checkered socks I, if you have my Instagram you can go like look so you know exactly what I'm talking about black these black jeans and then this like velvet collar that is like the photo I think chick started started looking good before then I'd probably say it was really really shit um but I think I started like properly like wanting to take fashion not seriously like I wouldn't say I still take it seriously like it's just clothes but a bit more actually look presentable would be when it was lockdown the first lockdown 2020 April lockdown 2020 like April May I started to like buy so much clothes and just like experiment and stuff so that's probably when I developed my style because before then I was a wee chav um, and was disgusting um, literally the way I dressed was minging um, sadly you will never see any of those photos because that Instagram got deleted like I've only had my current Instagram since 2020 oh my god only two years didn't even know yeah because my other Instagram got deleted 
so yeah i've only had that one for 2020 so you can't even see all the disgusting like wee chav photos that were like horrific but to point out nothing wrong with chavs if you're a chav that is okay um but it just was that it just looked mine <laughs> i looked i did not look good i looked dirty thanks so much guys by the way for watching if you have um it's actually making me so happy like i'm so excited to edit it feel free to comment if must do not be shy honestly i kind of it's really awkward like oh honestly go ahead comment things that you do actually want to like watch me do no watch me make on youtube i've got a few ideas that like i've already been like told and that i've got like like that i've thought to do um but anything that you think would be interesting just actually comment section put it in the comment section um and i'll maybe put up like another wee thing on instagram like another little q a's saying not cute but not q a's like answering like what videos you'd want to see um just so i can get an idea but yay i'm so happy i can't believe i've been talking for 20 minutes oh my fucking god <laughs>